name is David and I am 40 years old from Melbourne, Australia. I have a speech impairment and a speech impediment and I'm also on the autism spectrum for those who are watching for the very first time. And this is what it's like being on the spectrum age 40 in 2020 for my personal experience. And welcome to being the moment that I've made this video in February 2020. As the contents had been expanding since the 26th of May 2018 when I first started this YouTube channel up, I am bound to upload more videos and this is my 97th upload for this YouTube channel, Aspie with Attitude. And this is about times when an individual would dwell on a negative personal memories, perhaps staying connected to their traumatic past and never let go of them. And Harry Stowe, well this could be your life. And you could be 28 years old, maybe perhaps thinking about how you were bullied and picked on at school and you were beat up every day at school when you are like 15 years old. And it's 13 years later now that you're still thinking about it as if it's happened a week ago. Well if it's you, Maybe you should think of anyone who is neurotypical, had fought in wars like Vietnam, Afghanistan or Iraq. And it's usually common that those war veterans are still thinking about their negative experiences fighting combat from these wars they were in back in their experience of Vietnam, Iraq or Afghanistan. And this would be called post-traumatic stress disorder. Anyone would actually draw or obsess over their negative experiences and their hostile feelings. And you know this content isn't so much about post-traumatic stress disorder and this could be still part of not letting go of your past. And Harry Stowe, like I had been wanting to mention when it wasn't ever necessary to add a couple of my sad stories for my life experience. And now, if you check out episode 25 that I've uploaded in the end of October 2018, when I discuss autism meltdowns, and like I used to regularly have autistic meltdowns while I was sharing the house with my sister and her friends, and as me supposed to be the man of the house at the time, I did complain how I was never been able to cook in my own clean tidy space in my own kitchen as other people who are also living in the house didn't want me alone in a clean tidy kitchen Talk about putting me on an autistic meltdown, a burnout and make me very angry since I didn't get my own space at all and you know what probably wasn't necessary to even have used this in my content and what was worse though was like I did even use a Google image of an angry chef holding a meat cleaver to illustrate my point on those hostile feelings that I used to have from August 2011 up till end of 2016. And back in those days though, like, that was the only time I've ever ever been angry every single day. And now, if you check out episode 61 when I talked about anxiety. I could still question myself, was this ever necessary to add in my contents, my negative experience, having to come to work sick every day from a job that I was too lazy to resign from due to timber allergies. And that's why I was using the timber grains in the special effects in the beginning. Well, at that time, when I did have that job that made me sick every single day, I would have felt that I was too afraid at the time that I was going to get punished from leaving the job by my father, which did make me seriously sick every day at work from 2001 up till 2008. And how is though? I could always leave the links in the description down below, and if you watch this video to the very end, you'll know that you'll find the thumbnails at the very end for episode 25 and 61. And now, 
just to get on with it. If these feelings are hostile around the time this video was uploaded, I had actually been seeing a psychologist just to solve my problems, since I still bring this up in this video. And it's just very hard to determine if drawing on any mistakes or any negative experiences are very common for people who are on the autistic spectrum, since I couldn't find much resources on the internet. Or is it that I sometimes in social situations do just like to bring it up since that these sad stories is all about drama in order to make conversation. Well, to me, it all just remains as a mystery since there's too many questions that have been left unanswered. And I can even go back to episode 25 when I didn't have a clean kitchen. And would these other people in the house were trying to push me away from the kitchen for refusing to turn vegan? And maybe in episode 61, when I talked about my job situation of getting sick every day, could this be my father's fear of not wanting to work again, just like those people who try to push me out of the kitchen and crowd the kitchen when I was trying to cook, as explained in episode 25. And the past is always full of mysteries, and what's cool about it is, this is all ancient history now. Without knowing why I've brought all this up in the first place. And I wouldn't mind just talking about the future which I have here is that blue envelope. And right now I've got 385 subscribers since the time when this video was uploaded. But I reckon I'm most likely to get up to 400 subscribers for my 100th episode. Well that's the best I may be able to get through to doing. And all it takes though is, please subscribe, don't forget to use the notification bell to keep up to date with Aspie for Attitude, and please like and share my videos around. And also I'd like to say thank you to Newly Awakened for sharing episode 96, which is all about self-regulation. And also please leave your comments down below, and if this content was pointless, this will end all my worries right now since I'll never ever get sick on any jobs ever again and I'll never ever share my home with dirty controlling sponging slobs ever ever again. And the purpose why I make this video is I thought I could just use this opportunity just to self-regulate any hostile feelings that have bothered me since day one when it all happened. And how cool is it now that those sad stories and those hostile feelings are all in the past, as my mum and my sister had always been saying for that X amount of time. And I would like to say, thanks for listening to my video of Aspie Attitude, and I hope I see you next time, and I'd like to say, peace and respect, and thanks for listening.